The leech under the microscope. Let's take a look. Hello everyone, currently my mom and I are at a field to catch leeches. Leeches mostly live in freshwater environments, while some species live on land and are called sand leeches or leaf leeches. There are up to 700 species of leeches, including 100 species of oceanic leeches, 90 species living on land, and the rest in freshwater. They feed on blood or rotting plants, insects, and worms. Look, can you see it swimming? Oh, I'm scared, so I have to ask my mom to help catch it. Wow, my mom is amazing, she caught two of them for us. Now let's go to the laboratory. And we are observing this leech under 40x magnification. It is elongating its body and moving like a measuring worm. Its body is flattened along the dorsal ventral axis and has black spots on each segment, totaling about 33 to 34 segments. Its own body is also very long, smooth, and covered with a layer of slimy, lubricating substance on the outer surface of the body. This slimy fluid is secreted by the leech's epidermal cell layer. It lives in stagnant water areas, ponds, rivers, and streams, and hides in roadside grass. Leeches are present almost everywhere in the world. How much blood can a leech suck? A single leech can suck up to 15 milliliters of blood, and only after that, it can hold up to 15 milliliters more. Therefore, each leech is capable of taking up to 30 milliliters of blood from our body. The leech's body can hold several times its own body weight in blood, which is why it only leaves its host after it is full. It is strange that when this leech bites, we do not feel any pain, but the blood still flows. In a moment, we will perform surgery to see what is inside this leech. Please watch the entire video. This is the sucker on the rear body, which is like a hook to move the front body like a measuring worm. The sucker on the head, however, is terrifying because it contains a secret weapon, which is a suction cup with three jaws, each with 90 teeth, making a total of about 270 teeth. The tick will use the suction cup to bite the prey and firmly attach to suck blood, clinging so tightly that it is difficult to remove it from the host by hand. After biting, it leaves a bite mark on the host's skin that looks like a long letter Y. It's no different from vampires. Ticks are considered demonic creatures because each segment of the tick has the ability to regenerate and form a new individual, when cut in half. For example, if we cut a tick in half horizontally like this, one tick will become two ticks like this. That's why it's called a demonic creature. It sounds like a horror movie. Hey, it's still wriggling around. Oh no. If it jumps and lands on me, I might faint. However, we can completely kill ticks with the following methods. Cutting vertically, breaking the exoskeleton. Using alcohol. Using an environment with high salt slash acidity slash alkalinity. Using heat, ticks will die completely if burned, heat from water reaction with lime. And here is an image magnified 400 times, we are observing a piece of cell in the gut of a leech, with many bacteria actively working. Especially, the gut of a leech will continuously develop gut fragments along with a closed circulatory system, not excreting waste but with a type of bacteria called Aramonas hydrophila that helps digest blood, and produce an antibiotic to kill other bacteria that cause decay. It sounds really bizarre, doesn't it? Still not done, if you have ever been bitten by a leech, you may notice that the leech sucks blood but we don't feel any pain, 
like being injected with anesthetic. This is thanks to when biting, leeches release 15 different proteins that affect the blood clotting mechanism and cause numbness, while also having 17 different proteins that can contribute to the process of preventing blood clotting, making the blood flow continuously, helping them comfortably steal blood for up to 40 minutes with a stolen blood volume of 15 to 30 milliliters. However, leeches have a significant contribution in medicine. Nicander, a physician from ancient Greece and Colophon, was the first recorded person to use leeches for medical treatment in 200 BC. Nowadays, the use of leeches in medicine is called hirudotherapy. Traditional Eastern medicine uses leeches to suck blood clots, bruises, and pressure without requiring surgery. At a magnification of 800 times, it is possible to see a large number of bacteria moving inside the gut wall of the leech. What are they? It's not clear, they look like bubbles. If anyone knows, please leave a comment below. If a leech enters the human body, it can only survive in a respiratory environment without enzymes, acids, and alkalis such as the nose, sinuses, and bronchi. When the leech enters other parts of the human body, it will die because of exposure to the acidic or alkaline environment in these parts. I hope through this video, you have a better understanding of leeches. If you found the video helpful, please support me by liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. If you're curious about any other topic, leave a comment below, and we'll make it happen as soon as possible. Thank you for watching, goodbye, and see you in the next video.